Hello, let's talk something about rubber today and this one at my back you can see this is the rubber sheet obtained from our rubber trees so today I'm going to show you the full process of how to obtain this kind of rubber sheet keep watching till the end and give a like share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel well this is the plantation site uh, the video is going to be long but I'm going to give you the full information so please watch till the end well we started tapping this tree right from here and it's already well enough now again the bark has reformed replenished and this is where we tapped last year and we have opened a new panel here for this year and uh, maybe um, before the end of the season this is going to end and uh, probably we have to reopen another panel here right on the opposite side and this will go on for five six years at least so today I'm gonna show you how to work with this the taping process and this is called spout the rubber sap should drain this way and it should drain this way and then finally to the this is where we collect here all right when we start tapping a new tree this is how we start the marking in this way this way 50% of the virgin bark and we left the other side the opposite side simply and tapping is done only on one side this is how it is so it's me here and I'm actually trying to do this myself and first of all we have to pick this out from the panel because we need to be very clean clear and here it is how we'll just do it this way and start doing like this And this particular knife that we are using to tap the panel here in the rubber tree it is called Jebong so we use it especially and a special care has been taken to to make this and it's a very different kind of a knife This is how the sap is being collected. You can see it's dripping drop after drop. This is how it is. And when it stops dripping, uh, we are going to collect this one 
in a drum for processing and for your information my friends uh, tapping should be done in the morning hours early morning hours from 3 a.m. onwards to 6 a.m. like that uh, for the best results in those hours the oozing of the sap is in the highest quantity there was a heavy rainfall this morning and so we could not uh, do the taping in the morning so it's noon time right now then also we have done it uh, because we are just starting the panel this year month of April and that's why uh, we don't want the panel to get itself blocked if we don't tap for two three days then the panel automatically gets itself blocked the latex is brought here and is processing 50% amount of water and a little bit of formic acid this this is formic acid this is for the purpose of coagulation and later on I'll show you these are the rolling machines We'll let it sit for some time, five to six hours for coagulation. And this is how it is mixed properly. After some hours, uh, after keeping the latex here, we have obtained this in the form of a sheet like this this is it and I'm going to roll it in the machine this is the sheet from liquid we have obtained like this You can see the water gets separated itself, the water that we mixed with the latex is now all separated. But still this has got water and while sitting in the machine the water will be pressed out. And only what will remain will be pure rubber. almost ready now let's start the machine we have to see this gap this gap according to the size of our sheet this one accordingly in the wider way first of all and this is second and we need it for some time while I do everything all in the same way
all the sheets in the same way you can see water dripping down all right so this is done now let's make it let's make the gap narrower for seconds for a second time and this time in a long way keep it like this pull a little bit while pressing it in the roller Now again, third time, and probably this will lead us to final shooting. Three mm size. Calabo. like this done with this and let's move over to the other machine and this time we set it in such a way that we cut design for this and two things while cutting design we are also helping the water to drain Let me show you. This time we just need to put it and it goes. Collect itself under the machine. This is the final one, you can see the cuts, you can see water quickly draining away, look it's because of the line that is cut, okay so we are gonna wash it once in fresh water and then we'll dry it off in the sun, right? So we are gonna wash it in fresh water. And 
and we are going to dry it off in the sun. Finally, I have laid it here on the bamboo bar to let it dry off. You can see it. A number of rubber sheets spread on the bamboo bar. And this is called ribbed rubber sheets. drying off in the sun and this is what we are gonna get the final color this I left from last year season this is the starting season this year and for your information let me once again tell you that after we collect the latex from the trees we bring it home and then two liters plus two liters water and three ml or 2.5 ml of formic acid is mixed and the mixer is let for six seven hours and then later on we get the sheeting and after processing in the rolling machine we obtain this and we know natural rubber is the raw material for many finished goods especially motor tires it is also known as white gold i hope you enjoyed it please like it share it and do subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more informative videos like this thank you for watching